So last night it was announced for the NFL that Colin Kaepernick was invited to a private workout in Atlanta this Saturday, which means that this free agent man might have the chance to play on the NFL team again. Yeah. Okay. Same support. Okay. So we all know, if you didn't, that he stirred up some controversy in 2016 when he took a knee to protest yep. police brutality. So I want to know, how do you guys feel about this chance of Colin being back on the NFL? Yeah. Yep. They love it. All for it. I think it's, it's okay. long. It's long overdue. I yeah. Way long it's overdue. Long years. overdue. I think that um, what Colin um, kneeling for, we're still working on yes. to try to improve yep. police brutality, but he brought attention to it. Yeah. So I much think awareness. he sacrificed a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Um, and I just want to remind people that Colin opted out of his contract in 2017. He was yep. not fired. He opted out of yeah, it to try right. to get um, more money. And then what happened was with all the kneeling and everything, there was some controversy about bringing him back. Right. Yeah. They had a settlement because there was a lawsuit about uh, collusion yep. um, to keep him out. They settled it. Yep. It was um, confidential. The you know the what settlement. happened. Yeah. So we don't know actually what was the requirements. But then it just seems like he was still getting black um, blackballed. blackballed. Yep. And what I like about Americans, we're like we're gonna stop watching football. We're gonna yeah. stop it. And then Jay Z got with the NFL to start working on halftime performances uh, mm -hmm. for the NFL. I do believe that Jay-Z had some influence on too. this to, to, to make it happen. Yeah. Because a lot of people were questioning what Jay-Z Jay did doing. and yeah. why was he doing this and all we of this. We discussed you know. it. I mean, yeah. we had questions. Yeah. Obviously, we were like, wait, even Colin Kaepernick's girlfriend at the time had spoken out and said, like, wait, Jay didn't talk to Colin. Like, there was something going on yeah. there. But yeah. now to see this kind of come full circle... I don't know. I'm feeling some peace with this. I feel yeah. like things are coming full circle. Yeah. I'm seeing a bit of change, and that's a great thing. And, and hopefully, I, oh, yes. No, no, I think he's a perfect example of, you know, preparation plus opportunity equals success. Boom. He did not give up. He hadn't played yeah. in three years. He, he could have just been like, uh, whatever. Yeah. And now, you know, he has a plan. And I just, I just have a feeling there might be a positive outcome. Yeah. I really do. The great thing, going back to what you just said, is when you actually are prepared yeah. for the opportunity that's coming. In his tweet that he posted saying that uh, he was going to Atlanta for a workout, he was like, no, I've been ready for yep. this yeah. for three, three years. years. He's been working that he's out. He's been in shape, he's yeah. been working out. And I think that that's such a great message as well. Don't just wait for the opportunity, but be prepared, be prepared. for when it but arises. Yeah. Also, also, a team needs to take a chance. Like, he's ready. He's been working out every day for all of these years. He has sacrificed so much. A team needs to step up and make him a part of their program. Well, if you look at the current teams, a lot of them need them. The Hello? Lions, the Hello? Bengals, Hello? the Bengals, exactly. the Raiders. Y'all know y'all do. Lions and you got the Bengals in there. You oh got the Raiders in there. Dang. Yes. They, they could know? all use a yes. Colin Kaepernick. So we want to wish him good yeah. luck. Yes. We hope yes. that all 32 teams go and see him. That's right. And, you know... Maybe we can get past some stuff, you yeah. know.